Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tier list on every single event in Pixel Worlds. So uh, without further ado, let's just get into it. The first one is Please Recycle. From this one you can get a ton of BC. I've seen people get over like 20,000 bike coins from just um, recycling stuff that they get in the event. Basically what it does is it doubles points you get from a recycler. So you can imagine how much bike coins you can get. And for this one, it's a pretty good event so I'm gonna have to go A tier for this. Um, although it does appear randomly, like on set months, there's no specific schedule to it. So I think A tier for this. It's a really good event and I like it. Quite a lot. The next one is Black Tower. I don't even have to think about where I'm going to place this because it's instantly going to be S tier. This one is just so incredibly great. I cannot explain it in words. I've seen people get over 2 million bike coins just from this. It's so incredibly good. All you need is luck and you can get profit from this. Uh, basically all you've got to do is you've just got to get to the top of this tower and there's a chance of legendaries. And if you have really good luck you can get tons and tons of them. And it's just easy profit, really. I think this year's Black Tower, I got a Scorcher Mask and Whirlwind hair, so that's an easy uh, 700,000 bike coins because I sold them right when I got them. Uh, they dropped a bit now, but that doesn't really matter. Now the battle cards. I hate battle cards, to be honest. Um, this is the tournament event. So if you get first in the tournament, you can get 100,000 gems and like a trophy. That's pretty garbage considering you have to spend millions of gems to actually get a good deck to play it. So you know what? This is going straight in the cremation station. It's garbage. Battle cards should be removed from the game. I hate it so much. Butterfly season. This doubles the chances of you getting a butterfly in a world. Butterflies are good I guess. If you get a good one you can sell it for quite high but it's just generally not as great as these top ones here. So I'm gonna go put this in D tier. No C tier because it's all right but it just doesn't hit it up here with all the good ones. Now, Superhero Event. This one is a really, really fun one to play. I play this all the time. It doesn't give the best profit. Like, mining can give way more. But it's just a great event to just play with friends and just be social. Um, if you get a Legendary on top of that, that's just an added bonus. Um, you can profit through Secret Base just by selling the Secret Base items after Secret Base ends. Even if you don't get any Legendaries, it's still profit. But not the best profit, but not the worst either. So I'm gonna go put this in A tier because it's just, it's really good. I quite like it. A uh, Snowflake event. This is just complete garbage. Like, you're in a world, a snowflake spawns, and it trickles down the world, and then you touch it and break it, and then you get some cool present, and it's pretty garbage. You just double tap it, and you get one item from a booster. That's it. And most of the times your inventory is just going to be full, so you won't even get it. This is just complete and utter garbage. No one likes this event, and if you do, there must be something wrong with you because it's so bad. 4th of July. Actually, where is the fireworks event? I'm gonna group fireworks and 4th of July in the same one because they're literally the same event. They basically both give you these fireworks, which is a booster you can open for 300 gems, and you can get tons of cool fireworks that you can use in a world. They're all right events. They cost. They don't really have any profit benefits to them. Uh, so I'm just gonna go C tier for both of these. They're all right. They're not the best, they're not the worst either, like battle cards, I really hate battle cards! Ah! And now we've got a uh, potion boost. This one, um, if you have tons and tons of cauldrons, this can be an absolute giant profit that you're gonna get from it. I think one person got 50,000 bite coins from just a few cauldrons because of the potion boost, which gives you double potions from each um, cauldron, so instead of getting one, you'd get two. This is incredibly good, so this is going straight in A tier with these dudes. Clan gem boost and XP boost are pretty garbage. Considering most players are going to be in level 10 clans now, it just means that there's no point in using these because you've already reached the level cap. But for lower clans, this is really good because it increases it. So I'm going to go and put this in a uh, C tier. It's not used as much anymore because most people are already in a level 10 clan. But if you're not, then this is really good and very helpful. Now the next thing is Cart Hunt. This is this has got to be an S tier already, it's so good. The stuff you can get from it is ice creams, and I've seen people who have made over 100,000 bike coins profit just from doing this event. It's basically just carts that appear in a world every hour or so, and you can break them and get ice creams which you can exchange for bike coins. It's really good. Just overall great, great, great um, event. I love it so much. And then we've got the Netherworld mini boss hunt. This one, I'm actually gonna say I don't really like this one, to be honest. Because if you're doing Nether, a Netherworld mini boss can completely throw your game. It can take you from like three lives to none in a matter of seconds. 
and just completely throw that nether game. All it does is if you win, you get this cool box that you can get an item in. Uh, it's pretty garbage. It is a cool boss though. It does really look cool. Um, I don't think it's as bad as Snowflake Event, but I don't really think it's in C tier either. Um, you know what? I'm going to put it in C tier because Snowflake Event is just garbage and this is just slightly better. Farming Frenzy, basically this um, makes it so all crops are harvested in half the time. So if you place like a spike bomb tree that takes seven days to grow, I think, it will take like three and a half days to grow. So that's really good. Um, it's great if you're planning on crossbreeding tons and tons of items at the same time and you want them to be finished quickly so you can make your profit easily. But it's not up there with all these, so I'm going to go and put this in... I'm going to put it in B tier. It's all right, but it's not the best. The Lunar New Year event... Um, basically you break these cool fans that you can find and then you get these statues and then you can break them and get um, a cool weapon or something. Um, it's pretty good. It's definitely better than stuff like Friday the 13th and the Thanksgiving event because the stuff you can get from it is limited I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this... I'm gonna put it in B tier. It's pretty good. Fishing tournament. Fishing is alright, but generally if you're fishing then you're already making less profit than mining, so I don't really know why you do that. Um, fishing tournament, you can gain pretty good stuff from it. It's like 10 bite coins to enter the easy fishing tournament, and you can get 100,000 gems from it. So that is a lot of profit if you can win it. It's definitely better than battle cards and snowflake event. I'm gonna go ahead and put this. Um... I'm gonna go for B, no, C tier for this. It's pretty, pretty nice, I like it. Flowers of Summer. I'm pretty sure for this event you just get flowers and you break them and you get some cool colorful flowers. And then if you break those flowers, you get like some clam chest that's worth like nothing. Generally, it's a big waste of time. I don't know really why you would be doing this. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and put this in D tier. It's not very good. There's so much better things you could be doing with your time instead of this. I don't know why you do it. The Pot of Gems event, this is basically where some pots appear in a world and you've got to break them and then you can get some clover leaves. It's very similar to Cart Hunt, they're pretty easy to break, it's a lot easier than Cart Hunt, but the prizes aren't as good, generally. So, for this one, I'm gonna have to say... I'm stuck between C or B tier. You know, I think this is gonna be... a C tier. It's alright, but it's not the best. Now, next we've got Friday the 13th. This is very similar to New Year. You break um, black bricks, and then you get a Friday the 13th calendar, and then you can break that, and there's a chance you'll get a cool machete. But the only downside to this is the machete is worth, like, nothing. So there's a lot of other things that you could be spending your time on that would uh, get you more profit. It's not up there with Luton, the Lunar New Year, so... I'm gonna have to say C tier for this. It's not down here either. It's slightly better than these. Uh, gone fishing, basically this increases um, your chances of getting huge fishes. Um, I think it's by 10% or something like that. Uh, for new players who have like a, just a bamboo basic, this is going to suck for them because it means they're going to get tons of huges, which they're not going to be able to catch, and then they're just going to waste their laws over and over again. But then again, for later players who have like Titanium Superior, they're going to be able to catch tons and tons of huges and get a lot of profit. This is kind of half and half. If you have a good set for fishing, then this is really good. But if you're a newbie to fishing, this is just a death wish for you and I would not recommend doing it. So, I'm going to go for C tier with this, I think. Because in general, if you're doing fishing, then you're already making less profit than you would mining. I think mining is like five times more profitable than fishing or something like that. So it's going to go in C tier. Now Easter egg hunt. This is really garbage too. I'm pretty sure all you get from it is basically there's this egg and it appears in a world and you've got to break it. It's very similar to snowflake event. And I think you get a random item from an Easter booster if I'm not mistaken. Or it just me might be a random item from a random booster. So... I'm gonna be honest, it's D tier. It's really garbage. I have no idea what, why you'd want to do this. I mean, eh, yeah, I hate it. I was gonna say, actually, no, maybe it's C tier, but no, this is D tier. It's so garbage. Next, we've got Market Madness. Basically, what this does is it changes the tax you get on your PWE sales from 10% to 7%, so you can gain a bit more profit than you would on the PWE. 
but generally I don't really see a difference because you can basically get this effect but better if you use VIP and Stockbroker at the same time which will make your PWE tax to 4% so it's good. It's a very nice event just generally like in the background so I'm gonna go for B tier for this one not because um it's more profitable than any of these but it just helps you when you're selling PWE stuff uh yeah I think I'm gonna keep it there I was gonna change it but I like it there Cinco de Mayo um basically this is similar to Flowers of Summer and where is it Lunar New Year and there was one other it was similar to where is it Friday the 13th, there it is. Um, in the way that you break a block, I think it was some magic stuff, and then you get this cool piñata and you can break it to get cool hair. Now, I am actually gonna go for B tier on this, just generally because the hats look so cool and I love it, and because I'm a big fan of Mexico in general. Um, and I'm pretty sure it gives more profit than Friday the 13th and Flowers of Summer, so it's gonna be up here. Okay, so next is Valentine's event. Now, I'm pretty sure this one, you just get floating hearts in a world, and then you break them and you get a chocolate box and then you can consume the chocolate box and you get a booster item from the Valentine's booster. Um, it also comes with the heart graffiti which you can get from blocks which I've forgotten about the other things. Um, let me just see, snowflake event, that also came with the Xmas thing but it's still garbage so I hate it. Um, I'm gonna put Valentine's event in C tier as well. It's a good event, not the best either. Uh, it's kind of similar to Snowflake event and where is it? Uh, I've forgotten where it is. Oh yeah, an Easter egg hunt. There it is. Hmm, I'm having a change of mind. You know what? I'm going to put this in D tier. I hate it. I've changed my mind. It's garbage. Right, Perilous Piranhas. This one, basically, it just gives piranhas when you fish. There's a hard chance of getting them because it's usually zero. So when you fish, you have a chance of getting these piranhas and I think they're worth as much as tuna is. And you can get them from all laws. So it's a bit of extra profit you can get from fishing. Still not as much as you would get if you were mining. So I'm going to go and put this. I'm going to put it in C tier. Eh, there's not really much to say about it. It's just it exists and that's it. Um, Pet owner's day. Basically what this does is it means all pets in the game uh, that you can buy from the shop. Come back to the shop for about a day or two I think. Um, so you can get every single pet that would be in the shop on this one singular day. The only downside to this is it doesn't really give me profit. It's just a shop that you can buy pets in that you would be able to buy from the PWE or like people in general. So uh, I don't really understand the point of it. It's pretty garbage. I'm just going to put it in D tier. It's good if you want a specific pet and don't want to wait, but it's not very convenient because it just comes on on random days of the month. Like once a year, I think it is. In summer, if I'm not mistaken. Now the next one is best set competition. For this one, you can just enter a set for a chance to win a best set trophy and 100k gems. Now this is way better than battle cards because of the fact that, well, you don't have to spend millions and millions of gems and buy coins to be able to actually get to first. You can just basically put a set in and then if people like it, you'll get 100k gems and a cool trophy. But the, another upside to this is by voting, you also have a chance to get 10k gems. So it's basically just free gems. So for this one, I think I'm gonna go... Um, hmm. I think I'm gonna go for C tier for this one, just because of the fact that people with PWRs always win. And no one really has a chance to win if they don't have the PWR. But it's a lot better than battle cards. Battle cards is very garbage. The next is spray can drop boost. Basically, coloured blocks just give a spray can, which you can convert into a graffiti. And then you need multiple graffitis, and then you can actually place them all and create a cool, like, art. It's not really that good. I can't really think of anyone who'd actually use it to gain profit apart from people who are really new to the game. So I'm gonna go and put this. Uh, I think I'm gonna put it in D tier, it's not a very great event. The next one is Anniversary Event. Now from this, you get magic stuff, and then you break it, and there's a chance that you can get these cool cakes. And then you break the cakes, and you can get a special anniversary item which changes every single, um, year. This is for the Pixel Worlds Anniversary, which I think is 20th of January every year. Um, it's good in the fact that the item you can get at the end is always limited, so you can get a lot of profit from this that you wouldn't be able to from, say, Friday the 13th or Flowers of Summer. So this is gonna go 
I think I'm going to go for B tier for this, I quite like it. And then the next one we have is Thanksgiving Turkey event. This is the same as Flowers of Summer and Friday the 13th, is you can just break some blocks and get a cool item. In this case it's like this hat, which is incredibly ugly, I don't know why anyone would want it. It's generally just pretty bad, so I'm just going to go for D tier for this. It's just a waste of your time. Uh, treasure Hunt, this increases your chance of getting treasure chests and just gem pouches in general. Um, the treasure chests are generally useless. If you're using them, then you're wasting your time and unprofiting. But the pouches, the increase in pouches, that is very helpful as it just gives you free gems, basically. So, you know what? I'm gonna go for... I'm gonna go for C tier for this. It's alright, it's not the best, though. And then next we have is Archaeology Bone Boost. This just gives you more um, bone dust when you're breaking uh, sand... Sandstone, I think it is, and sand... And sand wall. Um... Bone Boost is a lot better than Spray Can Drop Boost in the fact that the stuff that you can get from it is a lot more profitable than Spray Can Drop Boost, so I'm actually going to put this in C tier because it's way better than Spray Can Drop Boost in the profit that you can get from it. And this is our finished tier list, and this is the end of the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to like and subscribe, maybe turn on notifications, share it with a friend, anything you like really. If it helps my channel, do it. <laughs> Thanks for watching, see you next time. Oh jeez, how do I turn off the audio? I keep forgetting. I did this last video as well. Why am I so dumb? Okay, bye everyone.